Why are there so many different English translations of the Bible? And which one is the best? The answer may surprise you. Welcome to the channel. My name is Ebony and the purpose of this channel is to help you grow in your faith through reading and studying the word of God. So let's get into the video. To answer your first question, you have to understand how Bibles are translated. The original Bible was written in three different languages, Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic. I don't know about you, but I don't speak any of those languages. So they have to translate the Bible from those languages to English. There are three major philosophies for translating the Bible, word for word, thought for thought, and paraphrase. Bibles are often translated on a spectrum of these three philosophies. As you might've already guessed, word for word translations seek to maintain the author's original word and grammar structure with its English equivalent. This allows for the Bible to be translated accurately from the source material. Popular Bibles that fall into this category are the NASB, the ESV, and the KJV Bible. Now, the most literal Bible translation is called the Interlinear Bible. And this Bible has the Greek or Hebrew words written across the top and the English word written right underneath it. So you can see the direct translation of whatever that word is in that language to the English language. However, there are a few issues with this approach. One, it can make the English translation of the text hard to read and understand. Two, sometimes the author's intent is lost in translation. And three, ancient sayings can be difficult to understand. It's like meeting someone from a different country and it starts raining outside and you say it's raining cats and dogs. Well, they're not gonna understand what you mean because they don't use that idiom or that saying in their country. And so this happens with translations of the Bible as well. There are ancient idioms or sayings that we don't use anymore that can easily be lost in translation when you're doing word for word translations. Thought for thought translations or dynamic equivalents try to solve some of the issues that are found with word for word translations. Instead of translating the original text word for word, the translators take into account how the original audience would have understood the message and translate it in the same way for modern readers. This gives the text better clarity and readability, especially in areas where it would be difficult to translate it word for word. Popular Bibles that fall into this category are the NRSV, the NIV, and the NLT translations of the Bible. Like word for word translations, thought for thought translations have their drawbacks as well. While the readability of the Bible is increased, it also loses some of its accuracy to the original text. Finally, we have paraphrase, which is really just an extreme subset of thought for thought translations. Paraphrase translations retell or reword the Bible in such a way that it is very simple and easy for the modern reader to understand. Many children's Bibles are written this way, such as the NIRV, However, there are a few adult Bibles that are written this way, such as the Good News Translation and the Message Bible. As you can imagine, this makes these Bibles very easy to read, but they're not as dedicated to the source material as say a word for word or regular thought for thought translation. Now that you have a little more clarity on how Bibles are translated, let's answer your second question. Are all Bibles the same? The short answer is no. It's important to remember that even within Bible translation philosophies, there is still a spectrum. For example, the interlinear Bible is the most literal translation of the Bible, which makes it pretty difficult to read. However, at the other end of the word for word spectrum, we find the NKJV or the New King James Bible, which is easier to read but it's not as accurate as the interlinear Bible. Most Bible translators try to strike a balance between the two extremes of accuracy and readability to produce Bibles that are beneficial to the reader. If you're getting value from this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Now let's answer the last question, the one you really want to know, which translation is the best? Well, that depends. If you're planning on doing some serious Bible study, 
then a word for word translation of the Bible is going to be the best Bible for you. If you're looking for a Bible to read every day that's easy to understand, but still close to the source material, then definitely pick up a thought for thought translation of the Bible. If you're looking for something with more of just a devotional feel, or you just want to simply read a few of the Bible stories, then a paraphrased translation of the Bible is going to be a great read. However, I would not use them to study the word of God or to base my theology off of. Which translation style do you think is the best? Let me know in the comments below. But all right, I will see you guys in the next video.